In the fight against coronavirus, there's no doubt protective equipment, or PPE, helps save lives. But it also creates a huge waste problem, with masks, gloves and other coverings polluting the environment. Our Manila correspondent Howard Johnson has visited a coastal area in the Philippines to see the scale of the problem there. Surgical face masks are washing up on Philippine coral reefs. Follows reports by environmental groups of COVID-19 personal protective equipment strewn along the country's coastline. We joined a team of divers to take a closer look at the problem. My name is Shala. And I'm Oliver. We're dive professionals here in Anilao, Batangas. So there's this area called Caban Cove. The dive site there is wonderful. It's like my first time again there after the lockdown. There. It's gotten worse. Yeah, there's more stuff like yeah, the PPE is just uh, 10 minutes on the dive. We saw like around 10, 12 masks and we never had that before. When I saw the blue PPE mask, I honestly felt sad and uh, guilty about it because I've used a blue PPE mask that's easy to throw away. Take a look at the rubbish that was brought back by the divers. You can see here blue face masks, lots of them. There's a face shield here, plastic bottles, tarpaulins. And the question is now, what happens to this rubbish? Well, lots of it will go back to landfill and then could eventually make its way back into the sea. And that's a problem because polymers inside the surgical masks are breaking down into microplastics, easily consumed by marine wildlife and the coral reefs that nurture them. The government is currently cleaning up waterways in and around Manila, but admits more must be done to tackle the growing medical waste generated by the pandemic. Our policy is not ready for implementing the program along the coastal areas. There's really a need to strengthen our policy because, of course, uh, clean ocean starts from home. The Greenpeace Philippines say that part of the problem is that the public don't know how to correctly dispose of their medical waste. It really would be important to start um, getting that information out about PPEs at home and also ensuring that they get to the right facilities where uh, they have the equipment and the knowledge of uh, managing infectious waste. Personal protective equipment has been one of the key tools in preventing the spread of infection during the pandemic. But now it's highlighting the detrimental effects of our dependency on throwaway plastics. Howard Johnson, BBC News, Anilao.